YouTubers, it's Mark from Shoe Seeker, and I'm back in Soul 85. This is part two, and you could see the statue that's here, and it's got some type of overhang near it. And even though they blur it, you could uh, you could still see what they're hiding. And right next to it, they blurred out another item. You could still see part of it. When they make everything one color, though, it's, it's just hard, you know. They know what they're doing. Like, you see this piece come here? Comes up. And then it bends over. See that? It's like some type of pole. You see the statue right behind it? See this carving? When I move that hand, the face is right there. You see? When I move the hand, the face is right there. There's another weird carving here. Here's another one you could see that they just blurred it out. You could still see the weird. It's just there's no way that this stuff could be made by nature. See how they blurred this back here? There's one eye, there's the other eye. Here's the top of its head. Right there where I got the hand is between the two eyes. I mean, like I've been telling everybody, the closer we get to Mount Sharp, it's going to be impossible for them to hide everything. So, and that's why we're getting pictures like this. Look at this strange area. And I don't want you to see something, so they come in and just distort it and blur it. Look at all the structure in this area. There's a pole coming up holding something. I'm going to use two hands to steady. I'm just not, I'm not going to point anything out, but it's pretty easy to see what's going on here. You can see the, see that face center, how they just blur it. They make some things two different colors, and it really hides it pretty, I think that's a great technique. Like you see how this is gray and then blue, red, and look at this, it looks like it's a pole holding some type of torch. And then you can see there's some type of monument here that they blurred. See right underneath the torch? I see the circular monument. There's something inside the center. And there's something coming, I guess, right on the top of it. And then you got this. I believe those are torches. It is just a beautiful area. See all the statues and carvings in this little, little section. Back here looks to be like some type of machinery or building. Let me steady it for you. See how close we can get.
the carvings in this. see the statue you would walk up here you wouldn't even be you would be able to walk into that that's what I believe this is like some type of monument or building you would walk along here see like this this is the side of a building or a tower there's another one like you would walk into this and it would be huge to you the structure of that building. You know, it's got like a tower right on the side here, it comes up. There's another cool statue. stuff is huge. See, I believe you would walk up to it and you would be probably about up to that on height. Maybe even smaller. You know, right about there. Again, this is on the top of the mountain ridge. Look at this rock, it's got like a rectangular carved, carved right into it. There's another, and see this blur they put it right across? Look at this thing. Circle, look at the way that thing is carved. And you gotta be kidding me, NASA. carvings some type of entrance here there's one head carved another head carved right next to it and there's another head that they just put some blurring you can see this is like a flat area these look like perfectly cut like some type of tombstones there's that head that uh, will from what's up in the sky 37 did a video and then I did a video. If you check out my uh, last video I did, part one of this, the link uh, to Will's videos in there. He did a really nice job on that. See how they cut this off up here? There's another, looks like open building. See this black smudge they put right here? So when they make everything this color that they do, you can't tell if anything's standing up, laying down. It's a great effect that they use. It's very efficient. It's probably easy to put on the picture. Look at this. 
Looks like some type of long object with some type of pole or post sticking out of it. This object looks to be metallic. Something else coming out of it here it looks to be an entrance. Look at this area. Look at this one, two, looks like metal spheres or something. I, I wouldn't even know what to begin to call them. Wow. That looks pretty interesting. This looks like to be some type of metal that's carved. Or it's a rock with some type of paint on it or something. I don't know. It just looks metallic. The structure of this stuff is just amazing. I mean, they just take these pictures from so far away. And when you zoom in, that's where we lose the detail. See how they did this with the two colors? But you can see it continues down the carving. You see? See how the carving continues? See this beautiful statue? See how the tail comes around? See how the tail's bent? It looks like it's got a little ball on the end, it comes down under, and here comes the statue. Right here should be a thousand percent proof to anybody that NASA's bullshit is just not coming in. NASA and anybody in the government can go after themselves because I'm not scared of yous. I'm not stopping. And this is the truth. Why you have to lie to the people of America and this world makes me sick. Pathetic. I wonder why other countries laugh at us for a joke. Other countries just they pee all over us. And you can't even blame the president. Because his hands are tied to a lot of situations. It seems like our pre presidents are just nothing but uh, mouthpieces that they put up there to read speeches. this stuff. But this is the real deal. This is what they're covering up. How much clearer do you need it to be? Right, look at this back here. Another statue, its mouth's open, there's the two eyes, there's something in front of it. telling you, the closer we get, the more you're going to be amazed. There's no way for them to hide this. Look at this piece. It looks like it's got a giant cross on top of it. There looks to be a heart carved into this.